and example two. Calculate the throat and exit areas of a nozzle to expand air at the rate of 4.5 kilograms per second from 8.3 bar, 327 degrees Celsius, in a space at 1.38 bar. Neglect the inlet velocity and assume isentropic flow. Okay, so here's our nozzle again. We're told that the inlet pressure is 8.3 bar. We're told that the inlet temperature is 327 degrees Celsius. That converts to 600 degrees Kelvin. And we're told that the ambient pressure is uh, 1.38 bar. All right, so uh, we can determine the uh, critical pressure. And when we do that, we know that it is 4.38. So if the critical pressure is greater than the ambient pressure, then we know that the nozzle is choked. So uh, we will have a converging, diverging nozzle, and this will be the, the throat of the nozzle. And we should have guessed that because they asked us to calculate the throat and the exit in the question. Okay, so we need to calculate the area of this guy and then the area of this guy. All right, so if we have the critical pressure, we also have the critical temperature. And the critical temperature is, is just the same formula, except we don't have the power of gamma all over gamma minus one. And when we plug in the values, we get the critical temperature to be 500 degrees uh, Kelvin. So we've 600 at the input and gamma uh, we've assumed to be 1.4. Okay. So uh, when the nozzle is choked, the velocity of the gas going through the throat is Mach 1. So the speed of sound. And the speed of sound, A, is equal to the square root of gamma r uh, the temperature, in this case the critical temperature. So if I plug in those values, gamma is 1.4, the universal gas constant is 287, the critical temperature we just calculated was 500, that works out to be 448.2 uh, meters per second. Now the density here at the throat will be the pressure all over rt, so this is the universal gas law, just uh, uh, reconfigured and uh, when I plug in those values then the pressure at the nozzle was 4.38 the temperature at sorry at the throat is 4.38 the temperature at the throat is 500 uh, degrees Kelvin and R is constant is 287 now the pressure is 4.38 bar so if I want to convert that to uh, newtons per meter squared or, or to pascals, I need to multiply by 1 to the power of 5 because there is um, 100,000 newtons per meter squared in one bar of pressure. Alright, so when I put those values in, I get the density of the air to be 3 kilograms per meter squared. And I also know that the mass flow of air is equal to rho AC. I can um, put the values in, so the mass flow is 4.5, we were given that, the density is 3 here at this point, and the area we were asked to calculate, and the velocity was 448.2 meters per second. So if I plug the values in, I just transpose that equation, um, A is equal to a is equal to m dot divided by rho c, so it's 4.5 divided by 3 times 4, 4, 8.2, and that gives me 0.003336 meters squared. Okay, so that's the area at the throat. The area at the actual exit then, well, we need to uh, calculate the temperature at the exit. Uh, using our uh, isentropic um, equation. So if I plug in the values, 
uh, I'll get the temperature at the exit to be 359 uh, degrees Kelvin. The density at the exit will be the pressure at the exit all over RT. When I plug those values in, it's 1.38 bar. And again, converting bar to, to newtons per meter squared, or pascals, we multiply by 100,000. R is 287, the temperature at the exit is 359, and that gives me a density of 1.33 kilograms per meter cubed. Again, the mass flow is rho AC, so transpose that. We have the area is equal to the mass over the density times the velocity. I'm going to plug in, I'm going to plug in uh, those values. However, to plug in the values, we're going to need uh, the velocity C. So C is the velocity here at the exit, and that's 2 Cp times Tn minus T out. So uh, we put those values in, we get um, 695 meters per second. So that's the 600 degrees Kelvin, that's the 359 which we, uh, which we calculated. Uh, just there a few minutes ago and now I can plug the values in so there's my 1.33 there's my density there's my 695 the mass flow is constant and we get an area of 0 0.0048 meters per second so we can see that that was 0.003 that's 0 0.004 so you can see this uh, converging diverging uh, nozzle